Beautiful afternoon to be hiking southbound on the Appalachian Trail. You can smell all these beautiful flowers. Just blooming all over the place. I'm going to talk a little bit about what people refer to as your big three. These are the three items that you're carrying with you on a hike that tend to be the heaviest and some might say are the most important. I don't know about that, but it's your backpack and your sleep system and your shelter. So I'll talk a little bit about these. First, the backpack. I am using a Z-Pax Arcall Ultra, the 60 liter version. I went with this size because it fits all my stuff and when it gets cooler in the fall I can put a slightly larger sleeping bag in there along with an extra layer of clothing and everything still fits. The uh, 60 liter pack that's the volume of everything including the outside pockets I'll put a link down in the description to the pack. I think it's more like a 45 liter interior or something like that. I have added to the pack the, uh, what they call a utility pack. I use it as a brain because I like having that little extra storage up on the top of the pack for things I want to reach easy, some bug spray, head net, maybe a hat, mittens. Um, I put some food in there sometimes, as well as uh, my electronics in a separate bag, so I have easy access to that. And it is easily configurable to sit right on top of the pack, like a little brain. I've also added, you can see here, it's a uh, phone shoulder pocket made by Hyperlite Mountain Gear and I like it because I can keep my GPS in there, my uh, satellite communicator and it will also fit a small water bottle if I want to put one there although I don't normally do that sometimes in the winter I do that. The other thing I've added is down here on my hip on the belt it is a Hyperlite Mountain Gear, a uh, one of their fanny packs down there, a Versa. And that gives me super easy access to snacks. So that is my backpack. All that weighs 29 ounces. It's not that heavy, it's under two pounds which I think is pretty good. Next, we'll talk about the shelter. For the tent, I am carrying the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Mid-1. It's a one-person Dyneema composite tent with a Dyneema floor. It weighs about 17 and a half ounces, 500 grams and it's easy to set up it's got enough room for me and there's room for my stuff it's a little bit got a little extra width in there and kind of spread out i've been using that since last year and i like it a lot i might swap over when it gets super hot out to the durston xmid pro 2. it's a two-person tent it weighs about three ounces more but the advantage it has is it's got big screen doors on both sides, so you can get cross ventilation, which is really nice when it's hot outside. And the two person space when you're by yourself is kind of nice. You can just explode your whole pack in there. However, in the winter or the colder months, I find that a mid one is a little bit warmer, actually quite a bit warmer and a little easier to set up. 
So I'll start off with that. I may swap part way through, we'll see. But for now, it's the Hyperlite. All right, that's two down. Next is sleep system. Got a couple different things for not winter. I've got a enlightened equipment Enigma quilt. It's a 40 degree quilt with the 950 down and it's the standard length wide version. I like that because I don't like a draft, so I can kind of tuck it in more easily around me. It weighs, I forgot what it weighs. I'll have to go look. It weighs 14.7 ounces. It's about 0.9 pounds. My winter sleeping bag is a Western Mountaineering Versalite. It's a 10 degree bag and it weighs right at, I think, two pounds. And it is super cozy all the way down to 10 degrees. It's a well-rated bag. I like it a lot. But for any time other than winter, it's way too hot. And I tend to sleep a little bit warm. So the 40 degree, even down slightly below its rating, it's good for me. I have that paired up with a uh, Thermarest sleeping pad. It's the women's version. I don't think they make it anymore, but it's shorter. It's shorter than the standard one and slightly warmer. And it weighs something like 12 ounces. And I think that's it. I think that's all my stuff. So all in all, when you combine it all together, I think that weighs in at at about four pounds even. It's like 4.08 pounds, something like that. And that's the summer setup. The winter setup at about a pound of that. I'm right at five. Oh, in the winter I also go with the Thermarest X Therm. They're uh, they're colder. They're they're pad for cold weather has a much higher R value. It's quite a bit heavier. And I got the regular, uh, the tapered one, the mummy shaped one, but the normal length. So there it is, my big three.